Welcome to Revised Chemistry with Mr. B. In this video, we're going to be learning all about alkanes. If we look at this model of an alkane molecule, we can see it's made entirely of white hydrogen atoms and also black carbon atoms. So it's what we call a hydrocarbon molecule. And in the case of an alkane, we can see that all of the carbon atoms are joined together by only single covalent bonds. So we also say it's a saturated molecule. We have a systematic way of naming molecules in chemistry and the number of carbon atoms in the main chain of the molecule determines the start of the name. So if there's one carbon atom in the molecule, the name of the chemical will begin with meth, two carbon atoms, the start of the name will be eth, three carbon atoms probe, four carbon atoms bute. After that, it becomes a bit easier. We all know that a five-sided object in maths is a pentagon. So a molecule with five carbon atoms in the main chain begins with the word pent. Hex is six, hept is seven, ox is eight, non is nine, and finally, a molecule with 10 carbon atoms in the main chain begins with dec. The ending part of a molecule's name depends on what family of chemicals or homologous series it belongs to. So alkanes, for example, all end in ane. So if we had an alkane molecule that had three carbons in its main chain, it would be called propane. If we had an alkane with six carbon atoms, it would be called hexane. An alkane with one carbon atom is called methane. Two carbon atoms would be ethane. Propane would have three carbon atoms. Butane would have four carbon atoms. A pentane molecule has five carbon atoms and so on. I'm now going to show you how to draw alkane molecules. So let's start off with propane. The prop part tells me there's three carbon atoms in the molecules. So I'm going to draw those in first. And the ane tells me it's an alkane. And I know that alkanes have only got single bonds between their carbon atoms. Now each carbon atom is going to make four covalent bonds. That's because it's in group four of the periodic table, so it's got four electrons on its outer shell, therefore it needs four more electrons to get a full outer shell. So every carbon makes four strong covalent bonds. So here's one, let's draw some more, two, three, four. This one's making one, two, three, four. This one's making one, two, three, four three, four. And I need to remember that alkane molecules are hydrocarbon molecules. I've drawn the carbon atoms. I now need to draw the hydrogen atoms. And we call this type of formula that shows the arrangement of atoms, we call this the displayed formula. Now we can also write a different type of formula where we add up the number of atoms in the molecule and we call that a molecular formula. So for propane, it will be three carbon atoms, C3, and if we count the H's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's eight hydrogen atoms, that would be the molecular formula for propane. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a pentane molecule the pent part of the name tells me there's five carbon atoms. So that's where we start. One, two, three, four, five. And it's an alkane. We know that because it ends in ane. So it's got single bonds between the carbon atoms. Every carbon atom needs to make four covalent bonds. This is already making one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so on, we get to here one, two, three, four, and it's a hydrocarbon, so we also need to put the hydrogen atoms on as well as the carbon atoms that are already there. So this would be the displayed formula for pentane. And if we draw or write the molecular formula, this time it's going to be five carbon atoms, so C5, and if we add up the H's, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hydrogen atoms. So that is the molecular formula for pentane. 
If we think about the ratio of carbon atoms to hydrogen atoms, whatever the number of carbon atoms is, we need to double it and add two to get the number of hydrogen atoms. For example, we've got C5, double it is 10, and add two, we get 12. So C5, H12. And the reason for that is each carbon atom has got two hydrogen atoms, plus we've got the two extras at the end. That's why we double it and add two. And another way of writing that relationship is Cn H 2n plus 2. So whatever number of carbon atoms there is, we double it and add 2 to get the number of hydrogen atoms. And we call this the general formula for alkanes. Cn H 2n plus 2. So to summarize, an alkane is a hydrocarbon made from hydrogen and carbon atoms joined together with single covalent bonds. In other words, they're saturated molecules and they've got a general formula of Cn H2N plus 2. If you found the video useful, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.